This is the best part out of it all. We're classy people in America. Okay? In America, we're like, yeah, we look mm. good. Hey, what are you talking about? That's not true. It, listen, in, That's a, not in true. America, we walk around and I feel confident in who we are. Here, we let me just describe you how they saw us. We are 15 people hopping out of one car oh, no. at the <laughs> nicest hotel you oh, will no. ever look at in your life. And this is how I knew what they thought of us. Because when not only do we have to climb out of the car, we have to climb out of the trunk. They knew that so well. When the valet saw us, they pulled up the car and they looked at me as their hand is touching the trunk of a car. <laughs> they opened our trunk they go, for us. Yes. So Kevin and David could get in there. We need, we need more because our car is too small for all the people we have. We, we need a little bit more background here. We haven't described Stad perfectly. Stad is a city that exists sandwiched in between the Swiss Alps, right? About four hours, nor three, four hours north of Zurich. Uh, east is it? East hmm. of Zurich in Switzerland. We are relatively relatively well traveled people. San Tropez, Dubai. We've we've done our fair share of travel. Maybe not the most, but we've been to a few places. When I tell you I have never in my life seen a city with this level of of wealth and the ability to command prices that make no fucking sense. The cheapest cheeseburger I've seen outside of Wally's, their one fast food place, is like $86. You cannot get a cheeseburger for less than 80 the, bucks. The club sandwich is $75. A coffee is $25. It tastes really good. What? This, I, I, it tastes good. It, it tastes it, good. No, actually, it tastes good. It's, it's not so good that you're like, wow, that was worth $40 for a hot chocolate. No, it wasn't. We're in a place where their cheese is made. It takes days to make. And, and you're reviewing Arby's. Okay, so like, it's just like the price difference has to be different. I dis heavily it's just, disagree. But how much different? Because I heavily the, disagree. I, again, we've been around, George. I've seen That's a lot of shit. This place is the most not real life place I've seen in my life. And I, and the kids, one of the kids came up to me today. He's like, how's your I was like, bro, to be honest with you, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, beautiful. Like, aesthetically, it's great. But, man, things are a little backwards here. And so I told the kid, I was like, just so you know, because he, he is growing up here. I go, kid, this isn't real life. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's a, uh, if it's like a European thing. Well, it's, or... it, it's not. It's how they gatekeep the culture here. It's how they gatekeep the culture and keep the demographic, us, the people that they don't want here out. <laughs> Dude. You know what I'm saying? Like these, these people are actually all billionaires. We wanted to go to the dinner last night, which was, is the best kind of New Year's Eve dinner here. And we found out, you know, not too far before dinner was going to start, maybe the night before that it was going to be 1,500 Swiss francs per person. Yeah. By the way, it was a buffet. Was you a, still yeah. walked and got your own food and it was, deli it was delicious food. It was fantastic. So oh, oh, one thing you may, you guys may not have known. I don't know if I told you guys this yet. Wanted to buy some drinks for some ladies, whatever, hang out at the bar for a while. It was an open bar. It wasn't it was an not open a, bar? It was not open bar. Oh my God. I, got, I, got, I, got, I ordered four shots of uh, Casamigos. Blanco, 220 Swiss francs. I mean, you, you weren't getting out of there last night Ma for under 3,000. Max said he never seen a place where people are scooping caviar like guacamole. <laughs> caviar, $8,000 trays of caviar. Ding, ding, and kids. <laughs> Chil Look, kids. Children. How do you even know what caviar is? They're like, isn't the caviar swell? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you get a happy what meal? I'm happy with my meal. They, they no, McDonald's. No, no McDonald's. McDonald's. What is McDonald's? Dude, I asked them, where's the nearest McDonald's? Like, as a joke, because... I thought I was funny. And he goes, oh, no, we don't like we to don't attract do those people here. I go, fast food people? He goes, yeah, no. I go, oh, Mike, let's get the fuck out of here. I was like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> we left. We went to the dinner. We let, well, Logan was dying from, oh, we'll, get into it. we'll get into it. So actually, I left the dinner. It was me and Stad guy, the mayor and representative of Stad. He's in front of us right there, now. Mac, our at, good friend, Mac. Both Constance and Colton, Stad guy in general. We left the this dinner and we went to, I don't even know how to discuss this. We went to someone's home for an after party. Uh, that was one of the more incredible houses I've ever seen in my life. David Guetta DJ'd it. it it's just the 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 level of extravagance and wealth here is is like I said, is on is untouchable yeah. and uh, and not replicable anywhere I've ever seen. Wild. They have a lot of class. That's one thing. I will say. Let me they let me let me so bookend it with this. I've never ever met a more polite group of people in my life, which is where yes. this is gets tricky because they know how to conduct themselves. Even the kids H have the kids approach you for pictures here. Oh. For the first time in my life, I'm approached 
uh, um, with kids asking me for pictures like this. Excuse me, I don't mean to bother you. Um, yes, they do uh, say but that. would you mind if I get a picture with you? Like, everyone here is so polite and cordial. Mm -hmm. And yet, it's so clear that it's just not like for us. Uh, you know, so we've been we've been talking about the currencies of different cities. We always talk about it. New York has its status mm -hmm. currency. Miami is just money. And we love Los Angeles because they deal in the currency of clout. Let me tell you what currency is not accepted in Stad clout. They do not accept it oh anywhere. You are no you are not advanced to the front of the line. Now, we do have good relationships here. So we were were advanced to the front of the line, but not because of who we were. And it's interesting because yeah, it's you know well you, put. you you come to this city and the and the people are um, they're they're over they're very entertained they're very entertained by us and we are, there are actually times where we've talked about it look we're like we're the court jesters we are the joke here we're the jokers we are strictly put a red clown nose on and make us laugh please <laughs> and we we walk into parties and like it's I personally got the maybe this is one of those like microchasms that i'm like making up but personally i got the vibe like oh they're the youtube kids <laughs> right, 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 right. like what all right listen I, I, I don't have daddy's money bro i was fucking born in ohio i but I, they're I had not, the, but they're not mean about it. like you know you it, so you start but not, you start not not everyone but like it, it, we are here i feel like to entertain our currency here is just like in real life we're we're fucking we're, we're entertaining we're, we're funny dope. we're dope what? We're dope. You're dope. You're dope. Thanks. But I started leading and prioritizing with other storylines. Like, and I think you, you from were far away, they're like, yes, they do dope. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Here, here's what I thought. Have you guys ever uh, been like, we're in America when, and everybody in where I was raised was like, dude, there's places back there. They don't, they can't even get food and you should respect your shoes. And so we look at them like, oh, you know, like we should be so grateful that we're, we're not in that circumstance. I swear to you, bro. I felt, even though I love my life, <laughs> I felt like they looked at me, they're like, they wanted to donate. Like, I, I was like, there's no way that I'm this far off. They're, like, when they were talking about prices and stuff, I was like, hurt. I was like, my chest is, I was like, oh. that's why when Logan, and I'll, and I'll publicly talk about this, when the bill came around, when they were like, yo, it's going to be uh, $1,500 to like walk in the party. And for them, they're like, they're like, a dollar. Yeah, okay. Like, well, no, they, they don't like, even care. Like, like the 15, price tag, like, what doesn't is matter. 1500 right? I've never even, I've never seen that. I was like, yo, I don't like to pretend what I'm not. I am not in the position right now for me to drop $3,000 for me to walk. Now, can I afford it? Yes. But can I afford it? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like yes, I could, I could do it, but I, I will be completely honest. If I did it, it would look like this. Yeah, of course. And then when everybody looks away, a shed of tear would come down my face because I worked very hard for my money. Sure. And I do not want to pretend that I should be sitting at a table where I did not earn my seat. And so I respectfully pulled out. And, and then Logan who's the richest out of this group, was like, no, I'll take care of it. And I made a firm stand. I will not take yeah, somebody else's me. money to be in a room that I don't feel like I should be in yet. We, I don't know if you- Which I also respect. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it. I, I, and I totally understand. I don't know if you uh, started like adjusting at all, but like uh, because of how they felt about like the job of like YouTuber podcast, about three nights into the trip, when people ask, like, I'm an author. Yeah. I'm an, I'm an, I, write, I write books. He, he, this is my friend. He's a boxer. He's a professional boxer. He fought Floyd Mayweather. Stand-up comedian. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just start to kind of adjust just a little bit. So. Yeah, but mine sucks. You know why? Because they're not like, hey, write me a book. Or like, <laughs> box me. They tell me, hey, tell, tell a joke, joke, buddy. <laughs> I go, what? I swear to God. I was like, man, if I was a doctor, would you want me to perform like a rhinoplasty on yes, you right now? they would. And I, she was like, she just looked at me like it was part of my joke. She's like, that's not funny. I was like, <laughs> I was like... It's just not supposed to be funny. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a joker. You, you, and then I remember they're billionaires. And I was like, okay. Bam, 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 bam. Bam.